Hey guys, I'm Missy May, and welcome to Let's Play Fallout 4! This looks cute! Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. Yes! That's why we at Vault-Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Thanks, vault Tech. Got your rabbit's foot? Good. It's time we talk about luck. Awesome. Teach me. The difference between whether you live or die in the post-nuclear world may depend on the flip <laughs> of a coin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Luck is a mysterious sort of curiosity. See here? Oh. A well-placed shot may not always do the trick. Hey man, if that's the legendary blowfly, you need to run. If Lady Luck favors you, though, you'll find those critical moments a breeze. Oh nice, he lived! That's gross, though. What's this? Only scrounging up duds? Time and patience may net you a suitable collection. But with luck on your side, you're bound to find some swell keepers. <laughs> swell keepers. No, no. Hold on to anything shiny. It may be of hidden value. <laughs> be careful not to get distracted by your newfound fortunes. Uh-oh, what's going uh -oh. on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. wasn't the only pest. It looks like luck has helped you once again. Yay! Unfortunately, she can't save you from every situation. Less yay. At Ooh. least your misfortune can become someone else's fortune. But what if I wanted to keep my fortune? Luck may be fickle, but if you can woo her to your side, the possibilities are endless. A particularly bloody mess Ooh. with little a chance to build a streak of destruction that cut the magic of the unexpected. <laughs> Regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. Great. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? Well, that was something um yeah great super <laughs> welcome guys what a way to start um this is a blind playthrough meaning i've never played this game before in case you were unaware so i am really excited this is going to be pretty fun and this main menu looks great and the music is awesome Wow, this might actually be my favorite version of the main theme that I've heard so far. And as content as I feel that I am to sit here and stare at this, I really want to get started. So it says, press any button to start. And now we have a cute little menu. I'm going to go ahead and hit new. So it says, start a new game. Mods are currently loaded. Note, achievements are disabled. So, quick word about this. Mods are not actually loaded. I'm not using any mods that change the game in any kind of significant way. Whenever I play through a game the first time, I like for it to be as close to the intended experience as possible. So all I have in place are a few bug fixes to make the gameplay go a little bit smoother and maybe we'll have less crashes. There are links to those in the description. One more change that I've made is that I have personally gone into the game files and tried to remove all of the music that would get me a copyright strike on my channel. So, hopefully that's fine. I know it's kind of annoying. I hate removing the music, but it is what it is. And this is a wonderful main menu. I'm so into this, but I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm so we can start. Oh wow, I'm really, really excited right now. Hopefully, everything goes as intended. I have not actually tested if anything is working. So this loading screen is a little bit worrisome, but it's probably fine. Maybe. Hopefully. 
Don't crash. Please don't crash. Awesome, okay. Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 4. Oh, oh boy. Okay, here we go. So I will try not to talk over any dialogue, but I will read to you if any reading needs to be done. War. Ooh. War never changes. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Oh, wow. Is that live action? In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is live action. That is and neat. And a son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh, I didn't know that happened in the Fallout universe. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. Oh, People cool. enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Oh, wow, that was so good. I got chills a little bit. Okay, great. I've never heard the backstory of the Great War and where Fallout's timeline diverged from ours explained like that. Hi, who are you? War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, so this is our character creation and it's in the mirror. And that's interesting. Okay, use the mouse too to look around so we can drag him however we want. Well, guys, I'm not sure this is an accurate representation of me, so why don't we change a couple things? Hey, my turn, big guy. Oh, wow, she actually steps up and takes his place. No way. Oh, that is cool. Wait, so if this is me, this is my player character. Also, I saw something in the background. I don't know if I should be scared. So, probably not because these people seem like they're chilled out. Um, is he my husband? I get a husband? Dreams do come true. <laughs> okay. Um, let's uh, mess with some of these options. First up, we have uh, preset. I think. Um, no. 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 Maybe. No. Nah. No. Probably not. She's pretty, not as much, Cleopatra, and back to the beginning. Um, wow, okay, I feel like I could spend an unholy amount of time in this character creator, so I'm going to not do that. I kind of like this preset. What do you, what do you kind of look like? I don't know. Default face one has better bone structure, so I feel like that's less for me to need to change. So I'll stick with her. Let's go to face, highlight a facial feature, press mouse one and make a 
adjustments. Let's start with her chin. We have mouse wheel, A and D, scale, and except okay i'm not entirely sure what oh no 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 we're not trying to give her a ridiculously recessed chin i just wanted to make it a little smaller so that's probably scale does s make it so yes and then oh no that that retreats it we no i'm not trying to retreat her chin oh no oh no i've made it worse <laughs> um what is uh, a and d do that's like her under chin. I don't want to give her too much under chin. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's just- Every time I see that <laughs> face, I fall in love with you all over again. I love him! Thank you, Javi Bababa. Let's see if we can give her a little bit more cheekbones because I feel like she looks kind of flat there when we go to the side. Let's try scale. Am I scaling it right? Am I, am I doing this right? No, it's the mouse. Is it the mouse wheel? Can I- Whoa. Uh, um. Oh dear, I feel like I'm not... Oh no, I'm not doing a good... <gasps> Let's just cancel that. Let's cancel that and try it again. Okay, so I really feel like scale is what I should be going with if I want to make her cheekbones just a little bit more pronounced, but it's just, it's not happening. I'm pressing W, I'm pressing S. It's not going on. I'm, I'm scared of dragging because that went poorly for me you know what that's probably enough of a cheekbone that's enough cheekbone let's leave that it there nice oh thank you i need the positive feedback because i'm not really sure that i'm doing a very good job i like her nose already the way it is there's a mouse wheel which does what what is that does that like the tilt of her nose oh no it's way too flat okay we don't want to oh, uh, 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 uh. i think i've ruined this too let's just go back to the way it was Sorry, this character creator is a, a little different than the slide bars that I'm used to. I, I think it looks fine. I wanted it to be more button-like, maybe. Can I pull the bridge? No, it's basically just moving the tip. Well, the tip's fine. It's great. Let's leave that how it is. I'm, I'm just going to accept Such that. Such a cute nose. Oh, thank you! Is... Is he actually commenting on what I just did? Like, if I go to eyes, will he say something about eyes? I really like the way the eyes are already, but I would like to change the color. Let's see what light gray looks like. That's super pretty on her. Ooh, blue haze is nice, but they look a little bloodshot. They're so blue. Pale blue is more of a deep blue. Green is pretty. Oh, amber's. Gorgeous. I can't believe this is supposed to be hazel. That just looks brown to me. So what does brown look like? Basically the same as hazel. Okay. And we have like mixes up here. There are plenty of options. Light gray is super cute. It looks kind of blue to me though. And I do like blue. So I'll go with... I think Sean has my eyes. Oh, does he? Does Sean have your eyes? We have a baby, I guess. Because I, I, I don't... I don't know who else would you be talking about has your eyes. Okay, you know what? I think she's probably fine the way she is. I don't want to spend... Lovely. Thank you! I don't want to spend forever in the character creator, but wow, I probably could. Let's look at the hairstyles. And... Let's just, oh my goodness, there's a lot. Let's start at the top and go down. I don't really like any of those. I'm not a fan of the short ones. I don't like the ones that look like she hasn't brushed her hair. What is, what is this one? I have the best hairdresser. I swear. Do, do you? Is it me? Am I, is that me? I'm not sure I'm the best. I, I wouldn't say that. Oh, did I click the forehead again? Gosh darn it. Style. Okay, great. That's interesting. Bob, you know what? You know what? Turn back, turn back, turn back. That that looks silly. I don't like that one. Oh. That could be okay if you ugh, ever took care of your hair. Oh my goodness. What is that one? Young at Did heart. I mention how much I love your new hairstyle? Oh, it's a ponytail. Well, that's nice of you to say so, but I'm not sure I love it. So we're going to keep going picket fences cute 
And again, I need to turn her back because I can't really see what's going on. I kind of like the one that it was default on, but it reminds me too much of the hairstyle I went with in Fallout New Vegas. So I want to make it a bit different. I'm thinking picket fences. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you like it? Oh, she's happy. Good. Let's go to color. And I don't want to give her gray hair. I would like to find the blonde. There's platinum, regular, and golden blonde. There's also dirty blonde. And then we go kind of into the browns and then the reds and then more browns and then so on. Um... I do like that her eyebrows change color with her hair color because it bothers me immensely when that doesn't happen. I think I'm going to go with New hairstyle? regular blonde. Oh, you love it. You're so sweet. She's really pretty. Like, I don't really need to do anything to her. They did good with the default character. I am going to go back to her eyes, though, because I want to check on... Well, I wanted to check sculpt. Let's look at type. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Does it? I'm not seeing any changes happening. Too much. What is it on? Prominent too? Such pretty eyes. Thanks, honey. Oh, these are like doe eyes. These actually do look a little different. I think the number variant okay. is just adding wrinkles around it. Mm -hmm. So she yeah. has... <laughs> uh, this one. These are a little... I don't know. I think they're cute. Sean totally has your eyes. Does that mean his are constantly changing as well? Because that's what's going on right now. I'm going to go with wide too. Oh, yeah. I think that's cute. So let's look at sculpt. And what do we have? I'm totally, totally scared of messing anything up. Um, so there's... Oh, I didn't actually succeed in turning off the music. I've noticed it. Oh, that's gonna bother me. What is this? I can't see anything happening. Oh, it's changing the uh, tilt. These are changing the tilt, I think. You know what? It's fine the way it is. I don't want to spend forever in this. I totally I could. It. It's really fun. Wow, there's so many, like, zones. Oh, that's how you change the nose ridge. I don't really need to change it it's fine let's leave it okay cutie i'm happy with you i think i need to go <laughs> i need to go shut off the music somehow um please don't please don't get me in trouble maybe if i just talk enough over it oh no i'm not going to be able to cover that up that's a whole lot of stuff going on well let's hurry up and look at her body and hopefully things will get better instead of worse. Well, they didn't just get better from her from there. Let's see what... Mm, no. No, she's much too muscular. No, I don't need to see your shoulders, honey. Let's go back to where we were. I kind of like the middle body, but... I don't want her to be too thin. So the middle's like right here. We'll go somewhere between thin and large. Why not? Yeah, she's cute. That's fine. All right. I'm happy. And back in front of the mirror. I like how he just lets her do it, too. Thanks, hubby. You're a winner. I'm going to go ahead and select done. I'm, I'm happy. She's good. We're good. Okay. What's going on? Hey. Nate, what's up? Uh-oh. Lag is up, Hun? maybe. Hun? Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Um, okay. Where am I? Right now, exactly. Actually. Yes, I have found you. Go away. Hooray. Problem solved. So, he said to check if breakfast is ready. And I did. No need to get dressed twice. Oh, I, I wanted to wear the blue dress. Since there's a closet with clothes, I thought maybe I could use them. Where are we right now? That is gorgeous. Okay. Maybe this is like... 
some kind of simulation thing. Ooh, Bubba. Is that Sean? Hello, my little bean. And I can play with him. Hello, Bubba. He does not have my eyes at all. I feel lied to. It's a laundry hamper. I can open this door. What's in here? Blast radius. There's a ball. There's a bunch of stuff I can't interact with. Can I do anything else with the baby? I like him. <gasps> Spin. Do you like that? Is that fun? I think it's fun. I'm easily entertained. So maybe you are too. Do you get that from your mama? He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. What are we supposed to be doing? Hello, handy. And there's uh, his box, I suppose. Can I read that? I, I can't crouch, but it does say, bring Mr. Handy to your home. And then there's a list of everything he can do. So that's kind of cool. Oh, a Braxo? The Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Uh, yeah, I also go into my laundry room and repeat the slogans for... Their fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, I love praising my appliances. Let Codsworth take care of it. Codsworth. Is that going to be ah, you? Good morning, Mama. Good morning! Your coffee looks great. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. Thanks. Can I talk and to you? Today's newspaper just delivered. That's a napkin. That's not the newspaper. Where's the newspaper? Oh, hello, dog bowl. We have a dog? Never going to find that dog. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, well. Uh, there's not a whole lot for me to interact with. Oh, look, he came out of the bathroom. Hi. Hi, hubba. Baba baba. There's the newspaper. Can I look at it? More of the same. The Boston Bugle. Oh, and he has a copy of it? Do we get two newspapers? Well, if I'm supposed to be having breakfast, I guess I can drink the coffee. Oh, okay. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. I mean, yeah, me too. Let's drink the coffee. Nothing happens. Really? Just a sipping sound effect? That's it? And I only get one sip? There's a whole cup! Give me more coffee! <laughs> That's not fair! There is a Grognak comic, though. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> I mean, that's that's cute, but I can't I can't pick it up. I can't really do much with anything. What's going on? A hollow tape player? Oh. <laughs> Screaming comic. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Huh? And look at sports. He... Salesman? Hello! I don't want any! Uh oh. Is it Todd? Does he want me to buy Skyrim again? Go away! No solicitors! Good morning! Hi! Tech calling. Oh! Hi! Is this dialogue? Go good morning! Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, okay. What does he mean, finally speak with me? Uh, Hubby made it sound like he's been talking to me constantly, so... What's the urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, So I'm this afraid. is... And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> A precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Mm -hmm. So, this is, this is pre-war right now. We get to play as a pre-war person? Well, that's not going to stay that way. 
How are we going to go from pre-war person to post-war person? I mean, it's got to happen. Um, let's ask I'm, if there's... Uh, well, in a bit of a rush. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I like to think through my dialogue options. Let's ask if there's enough space, I guess. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Okay, I kind of want to learn more, so I'm glad there's a tell me more option. There's also an option that just says sarcastic. Yeah, I'm... Mm, okay, I don't know about this dialogue menu, but it's fine. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Right. I feel like even if I say no, it's going to be a yes. So maybe I should go ahead and say yes. I'm kind of curious what happens if I say no, though. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let I knew it. it. Out, and it's done. So I do have to do it. <laughs> okay. Um... I could say it's a waste of time, or why bother? I'm gonna go with the quickest 180 in history and say, okay. Uh, okay, you talked me into it. Just need to get this pesky info all squared away. All right, here we go. Registration form. Awesome, let's put our name in first, and I'm just gonna name us May, except probably not with that capitalization. There we go. So, what do we want to do, guys? I'm kind of feeling motivated from that intro movie. Oh, do I need to press, like, enter or something for my name? I guess I do. I'm kind of feeling motivated to go for luck. Let's be a lucky person. Should I go for 10 or 9? I think I'll go with 9. Um, what about these though i will do strength i typically end up doing some type of intelligence build it happened with my playthrough of fallout 3 it happened in my playthrough of fallout new vegas and i want to do something a bit different so i want to be strong and probably tanky though i'm not really happy with this exact stat distribution because it feels Weak in other areas. Let's actually read through these and see what it says specifically about them. Uh, it's probably what we're used to, but let's check it anyway. So strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and uh, the damage of all melee attacks. So if I want to do melee attacks, yeah, that sounds right. Perception is our environmental awareness. And sixth sense, it affects weapon accuracy and bats. Um, I mean, that might be good. I don't know how much I'm going to use vats. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness and it affects your total health and the action points drained from sprinting. Charisma is our ability to charm and convince others. It affects our success to persuade in dialogue and prices when we barter. I do care about dialogue persuasion a bit. I really do. And what about intelligence? A measure of our overall mental acuity. It affects a number of experience points that are earned and agility. Agility is a measure of overall fitness and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in bats and our ability to sneak. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be sneaking or not. Like I might, I might do sneaky melee. I'm not really sure. So then I feel like I should not put all of these points in luck, but I kind of want to. Let's go for some Charisma, maybe like a little bit of agility. I don't want to bring strength down. But I'm feeling inspired to be super lucky. This is probably not an excellent build, but I'm sure we'll still have fun. So we have strength of seven, perception of one, endurance of five, charisma of three, intelligence of one, agility of two, and luck 
Nine. Let's hope I do not end up regretting this. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Why um, does he seem so nervous? Thanks again. Hey. Yeah. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, I guess. no price is too high. Can I sit with him on the couch? <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Are we cute? I feel like we're probably cute. He's still crying. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection oh. you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? See, he misses me. I already visited him, and he misses me. Hey, Bubba Bubba. How's my little bean doing, huh? You want me to play with you again? That boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Oh, no, he's good. It's that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? I already gave it a spin, but I, I like it, so okay, sure. Boo, 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 uh. Blah, 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 blah. That's my boy. On his best <laughs> behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Really? Um, okay, yeah, that sounds good. What is Halloween prep? I'm not gonna say Halloween prep. Sure, that sounds fun, hubby! Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Uh... Followed by... Yes, followed yep. by flashes. Oh yeah, flashes. the world's ending. Okay. Explosions. We're, uh, trying to get I guess it's good that I signed up for a vault like What's literally ten oh, seconds ago. Oh look, he has the baby. Oh, no. we, do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Um, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Residence All right. I'm just gonna follow you. If you are registered, evacuate Vault One Eleven immediately. Oh. And everybody's coming. Does everybody in this little suburb have a, a vault permit, or are they just gonna try and hope? Just help me pack it up. Where are the vertebrates? I hear them, but I don't see them anymore. I like that they've got guys directing me, but I can also just follow hubby. Wait, what? You can't serve. He doesn't get in? Okay, okay. I'm reporting you're gonna die! Oh, oh, the program, okay. step forward. Otherwise, return home. Oh, wow, cool. Hi, um, hi. We need to get in. We're on the list. Yeah. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. I feel Thank bad you. for these other people, but we, we probably gotta go. Like, this, this is, is not... All those people outside We're doing gate. everything we can. Now keep moving. Go, 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 go. Yeah, this feels very urgent. Okay, hurry. Come on. I hope this isn't timed or anything, but I want you to go first because you've got the baby, please. Into the center of that. Okay, come on. All right. We made it. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. It I'm looks gonna... like he's straight up oh asleep. Okay, D down maybe would be good. I think maybe down would be good. Oh, we're gonna die. I mean, we can't because it's the beginning of the game, but wow. That would have killed us, right? That was intense. Okay, we Mr. Russell. We made it. Mr. Okay. Whitfield. Miss Whitfield. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. And Mr. No need to worry, folks. Mrs. Abel. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about. Should that. I wait for for You're them to go now. first? I, 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 I don't trust Vault Tech. And through the door there. 
Why are they going that way? Aren't they supposed to go up the stairs? Oh, they need to cry at the wall. That's okay. That's a mood. Hi! Vault tech! Please keep moving! Up the stairs and through the door! Okay. So, 100% we're gonna be putting stasis or something. Because we would... We would die before this vault would be able to open. So... Male and infant. Yeah. Over there. Take a Good. suit. I, I know. I'm waiting in, in line. I'm waiting for pretty skirt girl to go. That's a nice skirt, by the way. Take I like it. Can I talk to you? Excuse me. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a funny face. <laughs> and you have that dorky hairstyle. Um, are you going or not? Nah? Okay, yeah, she's she's going. I probably don't even have to wait for them to go, but just this step over to the table. Okay. I don't know. It feels what polite. Suit. Now just head down the hall. And then what about those people? Are they in line? Like, am I cutting the Each line? Of you take one of these. Your brand new vault suits. Thank you. It's down Thanks. the hallway right there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Why do I get a doctor to guide me and they don't? See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Not sure I like the head bob, gone. by the way. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh god, honey. How long what do you think? I'm really down? nervous How right now. Over all that in orientation. They said There's they had enough space for all of us. But I'm thinking they're not gonna have enough Just space the list as they come in. for all of us. Did you check us off the list? We're the most important people here. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, these are 100% gonna be sleep chambers. Oh, so I have to stay really close to the doctor then? Fine. Can we talk? Hey. Just this way. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Uh. It'll be okay. Okay, do I have- Mommy's right here. Do I have to See? do that? Can Mommy? I have the baby, maybe? Could you help me? Can I help you with what, sweetie? Who is my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Does his blanket have Jangles the Moon Monkey? See? That's so Mommy's cute. All set? Just step inside and put on your pulse. This feels sinister. This feels honestly sinister, but I... Decontamination pod. I... Mm. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look! We have a wedding ring! I mean, of course we do. We're married, but... The pod will that's cute. ...and depressurize you before we head deeper in the hall. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Uh -huh. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Wow. This is so spooky. Like, this is really eerie. I don't trust this. Uh-huh. Okay, when is it right now? Are we waking up? This is the one. Here. Nuh uh. Mm -mm. I don't trust this. I don't trust this! Bethesda gave me a family. It didn't go well in Fallout 3. Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, maybe they're here to help us. Don't fight them, honey. Let the boy go. Oh no, he's doomed. <gasps> no! No! Oh no! Uh uh! No, you're dead. I'm killing you. You're gonna die. Oh, and then they reinitialize whatever this is. Great. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. I'm not gonna let them get away with this. 
I am so mad right now. Like, okay, I felt like something like this would probably happen. <coughs> but this is like too fast. So then was I back asleep for very long? Oh no. Girl, come on, get up, honey. Is there any point in checking on him? There has to be a release. I mean, 100% they shot him. It says release right here. It's not working, though. It's not working at all. Can I punch it? Can I punch the glass out or something? I mean, I'm pretty strong. No? Okay. Um, I don't want to leave him here. I don't want to leave him here like this. Are you joking? No, hubby. He has a wedding ring too. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? would Vault Tech do this? Because they're Vault Techs, sweetie. I can't be the only one left. You can be, and you probably Hello? are. Hello, yes. Anyone? They're all dead. Wait, this one's empty? Why? It, it... Why'd they do this? So did this person get out? And there's a terminal here. What does this do? This is a monitoring terminal. Welcome to Robco Industries TM Termalink. Thank you for choosing Vault Tech. The cryogenic array. The cryogenic array. Offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated, manual, and remote overrides are detected. Controls are disabled. So, are the isolated overrides what happened for them to open his pod? Let's check life support. It's offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated, manual, and remote overrides detected. Controls are disabled. Okay, well, can you tell me something other than that? Okay, so these are the pods. Hey, look, there's my pod. Let's start at the top. C1 was empty, so that's probably the one that I just checked. So no one got out of that one alive. C2 is Miss Callahan. Occupant status deceased, cause of death, asphyxiation due to light support system failure. So why did mine not asphyxiate me? I guess we'll learn whenever I get down to it. There's C3, Mr. Callahan. Occupant status deceased. Again, asphyxiation from life support failure. Oh no, not Mr. and Miss Abel. They seemed nice. Mr. Abel, same reason. Mrs. Abel, deceased, same same reason. Uh oh, I didn't mean to go back an extra page. Uh, Nate and Sean, occupant status unknown. Pod door manual override engaged. So how did they manage that? And who are they even? Let's check me. Known remote override engaged. And Miss Russell? Or is this Mr.? Is that Mr. or Mrs.? I guess it doesn't matter either way. It was Mr. There was only Mr. Okay, yeah, he didn't have a, a wifey, so. Okay. That's not helpful. I thought maybe that would. Uh, wait, 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 wait! They have control panels! Why? Why'd they do this? Can I open it? Use the control panel! Okay, what about his? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. oh, it does open. Hey, Nate. No, he's he's gone. I'll find who did this. Oh, I took his ring. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. No. Oh, no, I'm so mad. I'm so incredibly angry right now. I was so happy to have a nice husband. We can't have nice things, can we? Look how deteriorated everything is, and there's more pods in here. Oh god. Will any of these open? No, it's all malfunctioning. This is incredibly creepy. Here's another terminal, the monitoring terminal again. I bet it's gonna say a range of the same stuff. Let's check the cryogenic array in this room. Offline, yes, yes, same business life support offline yeah same business okay occupants of these pods there's mr d uh, petro mr de, Pet de petro i don't know 
He's dead though. Same reason as everybody else. What about Cindy? Anything different for Cindy? Nah, she's asphyxiated too. How about Mrs. Whitfield? Nope. Miss Coffrin? No. Mr. Whitfield? No. And Mr. Coffrin? No. I don't like how I cannot click. I have to actually press tab to go back. That bothers me a little bit, but I guess now is not the time to be bothered about this stuff. There's another new vault suit. There's clipboards, coffee cups, trash that I don't need. I'm probably going to need to find a weapon. <laughs> so, guy, girl, don't. Is this timed? Or is she just upset? I think she's just upset. But I tell you what, I am not used to voiced protagonists. I'll tell you what, I am the voice of the protagonist. You should me. Hello. Oh, and it jumps off when I come close. That's cute. A baton. And it auto-equips. I don't know that I like that, but maybe it's because we're very clearly still in the tutorial. I do like this at-a-glance looting system but it worries me a bit because sometimes when things get rough, the menus from opening containers are my excuse <laughs> to have a moment of respite. I guess we could still always use our Pip-Boy, but we don't have one. Pressing tab does nothing. Oh, look, another baton. Mouse one to attack. I guess the other baton is in case you missed the first baton. I thought it was pretty obvious placement though Giant which way branches. to go what the hell yeah girl you'll get used to it so that way is the way we need to go but let's look around back here is there anything good going on it's a little dark i kind of wish i could turn on like the pip boy light or something but you know you don't have one i guess we'll need to find one i'm assuming that the staff here probably had them even if the people they put in cryo sleep didn't and i mean i do understand why you wouldn't want to put you know expensive probably technology on people who are just going to go into cryo sleep here's a recreational terminal that was a nice baton stashing animation by the way there's an overseer memo Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Thanks. Top 10. Rick, Tim, TGM, Says, Gvu, Timinum, Kutuple, Didaputa, and Q. Yeah, I read those. That was me reading those. Play tape. Loading hollow tape. Please wait. Red Menace. Boy, I'm not here for, um, recreation. Um, my whole family's just dead, probably. I mean, not dead. The, the baby was just taken. But I don't know when that happened. Can, can I not press enter to start game? How do I start the game? There is no start of game. Oh, wait, yes, there is. Oh, help. Oh, okay, I thought maybe that was going to be me up there, because... How high can you get? What is this? Why am I doing this? Oh, I don't want to get hit by that. I feel bad for our girl that this is what she's doing. Is that going to come down here? Yes, it is. No, I jumped that. Oh, whatever. Uh-uh. No, we're not doing that again. Uh, Quit the game. Yes, quit the game. I don't want to do this right now. Give me the hollow tape, though. Red Menace added. Great. We can play... A video game while we video game. Cool. Awesome. Doesn't put me in any better uh, uh, mood. Though, after what's gone on here, I knew I shouldn't have trusted it. I knew I knew I shouldn't have. 
A Bethesda game is not what happened here. Just gonna give you a family. Oh Where no, he you? stuck to me. That's a spooky skelly. So that person is a vault suit. So did they escape? But from what cryopod? All of those people were dead. They were all listed as dead. I kind of want to look at a map, but we can't can't do that. Can I sneak? I can sneak if I want to. There are stim packs here, and that bodes well for me. There's a science man. Is this all that's left? I mean, obviously, I, I guess. A pistol, some ammo, that also auto-equipped. I don't really like that. And now I can't change it. That's fine. Here is the overseer's terminal. Isn't this kind of a weird place to have the overseer's terminal? I mean, it's not really in his office or anything, and isn't it? Ooh. There's a cryolator case with something inside. Well, that's not something we can open probably with our one bobby pin that I've seen us pick up so far. Preserve cigarettes. Those might be worth something, maybe. Not see anything else of interest in this office. But I guess this is the overseer's office after all. It's just kind of, ah, strange little place. Sorry, I wasn't expecting you to rattle when I stepped on you. Anyway, let's look at this terminal. Vault 111, Overseer Instructions. Well, yeah, let me read that. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. Violation VTP 01011. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault tech technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Well, that's cheerful. I'm, I'm assuming that was the end of that note. I didn't try to click. I just clicked back. Yeah, that's the end of it. Okay. The cryo later. I have long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryo later is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Yeah, I bet you didn't get that all clear signal, did you, bud? Operation protocol manual. Let's start at the top with resident admittance. Upon activation, notice from Vault Tech. All personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with the admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or resident attempts to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to their designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. So is that what the two were doing that were like crying at the wall? But didn't they get frozen? Weren't they the Callahans? Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees, Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Staff duties. Oh, wow. Science staff duties. Just menus within menus in here. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to the overseer's discretion. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmospheric leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, and enforcements of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. Facility services and maintenance. 
Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer's discretion. So basically, if you're good at cooking, enjoy being a line cook. All clear and evacuation. The all clear message. So they did send it. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Okay, so it didn't receive it. It's explaining that it would be sent. Maybe. Upon receiving the all clear notice, Vault Tech personnel may be evacuated at the overseer's discretion. Regard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Vault Tech, including the government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. Well, it doesn't look like the staff have been evacuated. I'm standing on like some bony dude right now. Mandatory shelter period. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance for the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear signal from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So what actually happened here then? What does that actually mean? Let's go to the overseer's log. Maybe that will tell us. Let's read preparations. The final staff orientation is now complete. All but a few of the residents down in the Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. The overseer, at least, seems like he had some altruistic motives in doing this, though I'm sure vault -Tec didn't, October 23rd. It has happened. We were lucky that most of the staff were nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it in, even the family that waited until the last minute. I wonder who that could be. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. The subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect the hiccup in Vault Tech's remote override system may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. See, I feel like the Overseer was probably given incorrect information, and this was not a malfunction, and this was done on purpose. So they're probably trying to freak people out by thawing boys out before they should have been. Also, which one was C3? Was that... That wasn't mine. Mine was like C5 or something, wasn't it? That was some random lady. Okay. Supplies running low. There's been no all clear signal yet. Even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period, supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they are insane. The radioactive exposure still would be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals were breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I cannot open the vault. I cannot expect our supplies to last forever. And I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny! A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they all be allowed out of the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies and putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves to get what little food we have left. I've been too generous with these rations. If people don't like it, well, then that's fewer mouths to feed. Yeah. Tough choices, huh? 
Open the evacuation tunnel. Opening the evacuation tunnel. The personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and to follow shutdown protocol before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local Vault Tech supervisors for debriefing and further instructions. Thanks, Vault Tech. Okay, I am going to take a look at nice. this. Coming back later for you. Oh, well, I mean, if you if you say so. I mean, I, I was thinking about coming back later for it, but I guess now you've made the decision for both of us, haven't you? <laughs> I want my melee weapon back. I really do. You know what? Why don't we try that out? Oh, cool. It doesn't completely stop. It just slows down. Our hair looks cute. That was a good call. Oh, did I miss that one? Ew, the fluids don't look nice. I mean, they do look nice, like graphically, but I don't like them. Hey, man, can you die? Maybe. Thanks. Do I even want all this rad roach meat? Like, who's going to want it? I, I don't. I know I don't. I know I don't want it. Press R to reload the gun. No way. Exit zone. Authorized personnel only. Oh, it's telling us to sneak. Are we going to do a sneaking? We did. Yay. Are there any more out here? What was that? That sounded like a door opening. Is it this door? But this goes back. Where does this go back? Two. Wait, we've been... Have we been here? We've been here, haven't we? I don't know. And we don't have a map. Should I go down this? Yeah, we've been here. Okay, so that's just what? That, that's our pods, right? Sorry, I have to check to be certain. Yes, I opened that one for Nate. That is our pods. So this door just mysteriously opened because I... I guess did like an override on the Is anyone alive? Thing did anyone get out? I I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out myself, to be honest. So is that all pressing ah! Is that all pressing E does on these? It's not gonna let me loot them or anything, it's just activate to hear a random voice Am I line. The only one left? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, Pip Boy. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, it looks good. I mean, like, kind of like ratchet good, but like, it's cool looking. Oh, nice touch. It's super dirty. Oh, look at it boot up. No hollow tape found. Not even the red menace. Select a tab with the mouse. You mean like this? Change selections with A and D, like so. Press tab to exit the pip away. Can I use the light already? Oh yeah, I don't need it right now, but it's nice to see it working. And I'm supposed to be over, excuse me. I'm supposed to be over here. What's going on? Vault door controls. Oh, neat. So that opened the little bit above the button. And then we can hit the button. Door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Oh, that looks cool. Rules for your safety. Why is food or drink not safe? Strict movement. Oh, look how heavy that looks. Very cool. And the music is here for it. Wow. Oh, wow. This looks so much different. 
Remember how clean and like pristine everything was? Oh, and even this is having like trouble going back up. It's having even more trouble than I originally thought. See all the sparks? That's neat. Awesome stuff. So I guess we're ready to leave the vault. And it says, do you want to change anything? We could change our name or our special attributes or our appearance, or we can finish and exit the vault. As much as I would like to play more with the appearance changer, I am not gonna do that. And we're gonna go ahead and exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface. Thanks. Thank you for choosing Vault Deck. Thanks. Those who reserved spots in Vault 111 had no idea that they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was actually a secret social experiment conducted by Vault Tech. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, nice. Go home. What an objective. Oh, she's like crying. That's so sad. Look at the trees. They're so barren. They were so pretty before and they had so much life and everything's just... Ooh, very cool. I, I do like the art direction of the game so far. There's little things that are so different for me and I think I'm going to have trouble getting used to, especially the dialogue menu and the voice protagonist, but thank you for being patient with me. And I hope that you will enjoy my first adventure and follow it for as much as I think I will. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.